Hello, everybody, and welcome to Early Access Podcast, episode 50. That's right, episode 50. I'm your host, Angelo, as usual. And yeah, we've made it to episode 50. Um, actually, I don't know why episode 49 is not listed in this list of stuff on the website. But yes, episode 50. Um, technically 51, if you want to count the intro episode that I did, episode 0. But yeah, it's it's been great. I started the podcast back in February, and... Um, you know, just been doing it twice a week ever since. Uh, well, I think the first couple I did once a week. Um, but ever since, like, the first couple, I've been doing them twice a week. And, you know, the reception's been pretty awesome. Um, developers have been great the whole this whole way. So I want to thank them uh, in particular for helping out with the show. Um, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to continue to do this because... You know, buying as many games as I've reviewed since I started, it would be very expensive. Uh, I think I've done a hundred first look videos or something like that. I think the YouTube channel has uh, over, I don't even know, let's see. I'll, I'll give you give you a number, let me, let me see, videos. Um, I have, geez, I don't even know, playlists. Channels discussion. I don't, I'm not even sure how to check um, how many videos I have. A lot. I have a whole bunch. Um, video manager, baby. 153 videos. Um, so, yeah, there you go. If it wasn't for indie developers supporting the show and sending me their games to take a first look at and, you know, providing content for you guys. I wouldn't have this much content. I mean, 50 episodes, and you know, it's you know, average episodes like 20, 30 minutes. It's like 25, 20, 25 hours worth of content that I've generated since February, plus all the first look videos and all the reviews I've done. It's been great. I've had a great time doing this, and I can't wait to continue doing it. Hopefully, grow more in the coming months as we reach, uh, you know, the next milestone, which would be 100 episodes and beyond into the future. So. I'm really excited for uh, what's to come, and I mean, I, I got two games today that I can't wait to check out for you guys. Um, you know, I'm going to probably do them tomorrow and then put them out sometime this week. I got a copy of this game called Dusker that's coming out uh, August 20th, so I'm going to get that out before the 20th, and I got a copy of, um, wow, what was the other game I got a copy of? I just got a copy of another game. Let's see. Um... Castronauts, which is actually one of the games I'm going to talk about. Um, oh, and I got a copy of Space Beast Terror Fight, too, which came out in April. Uh, I just got a copy of that to try uh, take a look at for you guys and write a review and get a video up. So, yeah, I just want to thank all the indie developers that are out there for helping me reach episode 50 and being able to do this for the past six months. It's been great. It's been a, it's just been an experience, um, you know, wholly positive and again just thank you and thank you guys for listening and watching the videos um you know 124 subscribers so far which uh you know just comes from word of mouth and and youtube i guess however they populate their searches and stuff and you know 20,000 plus views and it's just been you know let's see let me let me pull it up I, i'll run down the exact numbers that i got yeah, 124 subscribers, almost 20,000 views. Uh, the podcast uh, has, I think, close to 2,000 downloads, which equates to, you know, about 35 downloads per episode. But it's pretty impressive that it's actually probably a little bit more than that, only because of the fact that, um, you know, up until last week, the the iTunes feed and everything, all the feeds were only shown the most previous 10 episodes. So within the next uh, couple weeks, I'm going to be trying to look to move over to Libsyn. This way, it'll give the whole uh, catalog of episodes on there. So if you or you want to tell somebody to go check it out, you know, maybe point us to a specific episode where I talk about a specific game, or you know, if you just want to go back and listen to the whole uh, run so far and hear some games that you might have missed. You know, it's, it goes back to February, so there's been quite a few early access games since then. And, you know, you can go check them out. Um, again, share, like, favorite, comment, follow me on Twitter, Early Access PC. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you listen to the podcast and you don't subscribe to the YouTube channel, go go over there. I do uh, plenty of videos out uh, up to watch. 
so you can check them out um, but yeah so let's just jump into like that's the big news thing this is episode 50 I'm really excited um, so it brings me to you know a couple other things that I wanted to talk about first up is um, satellite rush uh, I checked out this game a couple weeks ago and well, about a week ago and they're currently in their Kickstarter I think they have six days left I just wanted to bring it up real quick because uh, they contacted me let me know they put out a new demo which I played through again and it's still a lot of fun um, so go check it out it's chimericlabs.com satellite rush slash uh, slash satellite rush slash demo the link will be in the show notes uh, they added some new enemies to the demo and everything um, it, it's a really cool game they have six days left on their Kickstarter they're a few thousand dollars away I already backed it I, I recommend going to check it out um, go download the demo yourself go check it out or go watch my um, you know my video see if it's something you're interested but go check go download the demo you can play it yourself and check it out um, it's a lot of fun. I, it's just like a shooter in this like alien kind of like game show. You're, you're like stuck in there with an explosive collar on and you're trying to win the audience over so they will throw you guns. And uh, it's like, you know, kind of roguelike. So if you die, you start over again. Um, I don't know. I, I had a ton of fun with it. So go check that out. Um, there was something else I wanted to touch on and I need to double check real quick what I um, wrote down in the show notes oh yeah that's it Imperion so I um, so I, I made the first I played Imperion that's one of the things I, I've been playing so I played more of that um, when I was playing it I realized that there was no tutorials up so when I did the review I already put about five or so hours into the game and I did like a review tutorial video so it was about a half an hour and it kinda just broke down the basics of it um, the video only got like a little over a hundred hits but it, it was pretty positive um, so I posted that to Steam into the review section like in the guides which I don't normally do but since the video was more of a review I mean, more of a tutorial and a review. I thought it was fitting uh, to give people an idea of what to do in the beginning of the game. But then I realized once I finished that and went back into the game, I was starting to make my own my first ship. And I realized that there was no tutorials that really walked you through how to build your first ship. So I made I went and created all the materials for it and made a tutorial video that was like 20 minutes long. You know, a little a little long form, which. Uh, has about 50 hits on it but it's got like three down votes and only one up vote and um, so three dislikes and I'm assuming because it I, I take 20 minutes to explain what is a process that's probably only about three minutes long so I, I, I copied the save and I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna just streamline a three minute uh, little uh, more condensed tutorial it was my first like attempt at a regular tutorial video and I kinda took it like I do with the podcast where it's a little bit more long form um, or like one of the first look videos where I'm just talking about bullshit basically and you know also doing other things I'm not just like you know showing my build my base and um, just, just talking about stuff in general about the game but um, apparently people want their tutorial videos shorter um, so either that or maybe I'll just add to the the description exactly what you're supposed to do but I had fun with it but I will I will make a shorter one uh, hopefully so people will want to watch it and uh, figure out how to make their first um, their first ship so other than Imperion I just got done playing duck game for the first time I played about 30 minutes of the duck game and that's a game by um, Jeez, it's it's a, a another Adult Swim um, published game. They've been publishing a lot of really game good games, um, and it's like yeah, you've probably seen the commercials on for it on Adult Swim. You play as a little pixel duck, and it's like a four person multiplayer shooter. Um, it's tons of fun actually. Uh, it controls really well. There's a whole bunch of different weapons. I did an online game mode, and I played a couple of the uh, the single player like arcade stuff that they did. Um, so go check that out. That's actually going up right now. It probably is just publishing uh, as I record this episode. 
So, yeah, we'll go check that out. It's actually really cool. Uh, I think it's twelve uh, ninety nine, but if you buy a four pack, it's uh, I think it's thirty nine ninety nine. So it ends up being ten dollars a copy. So you, you save twelve bucks altogether. Um, and it's overwhelmingly positive. I think it, it's like 96% with like 1,600 review, reviews. Um, and I, I jumped in, it came out a couple weeks ago, or maybe a couple months ago at this point, and I was able to jump into a multiplayer match and play with three people. Um, like, it's easy. Just jumped in and it, you know, it, was the, it went off without a hitch. Um, and I learned as I went. But, yeah, go check it out. I think it's a ton of fun. It's a really cool game. Um, you know, an adult swim keeps hitting them out of the park with... Uh, with the games that they're they're publishing, uh, uh, they seem to know what to look for. Yeah, you know, they made some good choices with that and um, Zens and Zenzik and jeez, uh, I I know there's more and I just can't think of them off the top of my head. But you know, they got their finger on the pulse, so I would follow uh, Adult Swim Games and see what they're backing as far as uh, publishing games because they've been doing really good. Uh, and then. Before I played the duck game today, I played the ritual on Wayland Island. Now, I talked about this on the last episode, and it's got seven positive reviews, um, 100%. It's $10. It's in early access, and this is a first-person survival. It's not really a survival. Uh, it's a first-person horror game, uh, very story-driven, and I played about the first half an hour of it. I haven't uploaded the video yet because I couldn't get the mouse cursor to uh, constrained to the monitor like to the game because there was something wrong with like if the if you had a controller plugged in for some reason it left the mouse up I didn't find out until afterwards that if I unplug the 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 controller it, it would fix that problem so I kept clicking off the screen and stuff and it was frustrating um, so I'm gonna go back and re-record that first 30 minutes uh, properly and it's not going to be as funny, but at least it'll look better and it'll give you a better idea of uh, what the game looks like. Um, so far, I don't think the gameplay is all that great. However, the story is intriguing and it makes me want to go and finish playing the game. Um, and I'm excited for how they progress the story. So what it is, is uh, what I've gathered so far is you play as a woman who... Her grandfather uh, has passed away, and your family has an inherited Wayland Island, or this island. Um, it's called Blessed Island, actually. And on this island, you encounter a ritual, surprisingly. Um, so the game op actually opens up with a ritual of somebody getting sacrificed. And as you're on the island, you are discovering, th like, the story is unfolding of what exactly is happening on this island. It's actually really cool. Um, it's got a bunch of voice acting in it. However, um, it sounds like it was all recorded in different places. So some of it sounds like it's like recorded in a bathroom. Uh, the, the levels are really bad. So sometimes like it's really loud. Um, hopefully that gets worked out throughout early access. Um, but I would go check it out. Um, it's only 10 bucks. The story's really cool so far. If you're looking for like a story-driven horror game, um, it's going to be really cool. There's no fighting. You, like It's a lot of just running away from things. Um, you know, you're searching for some stuff. They're going to be adding more stuff over time. But I'd recommend keeping an eye on it. Um, it, it I think if they continue with the story and, and the writing stays where it's at, where it's an interesting uh, storyline, it'll actually turn out to be a really cool experience. Um, and a little scary. I mean, I had one jump scare. Um, I mean, I came around a corner and there was a fucking cloaked being there. Um, but yeah, go, go check it out. The Ritual on Wayland Island. Uh, it, it seems like it's going to be a good story. All right, that's uh, the bulk of what I've played since the last episode. Um, so I grabbed a couple games. Actually, I lied. <laughs> There was I did play this game. I didn't record a quick look for it uh, because it's boring as shit. But it's called Fishing Planet. Now, Fishing Planet is a free-to-play um, fishing simulator, and it's actually a really good fishing simulator. Now, I played carp fishing, whatever it was called, and I think I said it was positive, but that's because I had no real comparison to it. It seemed deep, 
um, it has a lot of the stuff that this game has, but Fishing Planet does it so much, like in such a better way. Um, it's so much easier to understand what you're doing. It plays well. The graphics are fine, but you have the same the level of customization as you would in most of your fishing sims but it's free and the way it works is you earn money by catching fish you sell them um, and then that money you use to you know you can buy there's like premium status like uh, I think it's like VIP because you have to buy your fishing licenses and you have to buy you know new gear like reels and stuff like that uh, new fishing line new lures new bait it's just basically everything you're running the whole thing on your own it's just that the actual fishing aspect of it isn't as over the top as some other simulators that I've seen before um, so I played it for about an hour uh, I caught a couple fish it was fun but you're actually you know you're sitting there you're watching your bobber and it's boring it wouldn't make for a good first look video um, I might do a, like a small one maybe like 15 minutes catch a couple fish just to give you an idea of what it's all about or just go check it out like I said it's free to play it's got 387 uh, reviews it's 72 percent positive so it's mostly positive um, and yeah it's free to play so you just the way it works is you pay for your like I said you pay for your fishing license you have to pay for how many days you want to be at your location that you're fishing um, the travel there so that's how they you know eat away at your uh, in-game currency and then you have that time period to fish back and catch as many fish as you can to make that money back and then some so you can continue fishing um, I'm, and I'm, it's got like a daily login thing where you get so many dollars to to lock in so even if you don't buy anything I think if you just want to play a game where you just mess around and you you know pretend fish for a while uh, it's actually fun and it's, it's multiplayer it's online so they haven't implemented all the features yet but there's a chat room so you can talk to other people as they're fishing I mean you're at your own little instance area but there is a, like a community talking and you get to see what everybody else is catching I think it's really interesting um, and as they roll out more features I, I can see it becoming a thing where it's just like you know I don't want to do anything that's actually like hot, like intense I just want to sit there and listen to the you know the like the sounds of the the water and per, like play go fishing a little bit I, I think it's really cool um so yeah go check it out it's free to play and i i, I think it's I, I mean in my opinion i think it's a really cool uh fishing simulator all right enough fishing talk let's talk about this game it's called super slam dunk touchdown um now this game actually looks really cool. It, I wish it had um, more reviews because I'm interested in how many people want to play this game. I think the price is a little off-putting for people. Um, so Super Slam Dunk Touchdown is a retro style like um, think like the old NES sports games. It's like that, but they mashed up all mash up all the sports. So you got hockey players, you got lacrosse players, you got soccer players and basketball, and um, the the courts that you play on. You can you could play on an ice hockey court. You can play on a football field. The net is well. The the goal is a modified uh, soccer goal with a basketball net and a field goal all attached to it with an end zone behind it. Um, so it looks like it's like a six v six. Uh, sports game you can fight and stuff um, it looks really cool I, it's just one of those games where I feel like it's gonna suffer from just not having enough people playing it um, however right now it's got three reviews they're all positive which is iffy when you're this when there's that few reviews um, let's see that guy's got 38 reviews this guy's got four and this guy's got 10 uh, for some reason well this guy no one found his review helpful because it's just a YouTube video so you know people love doing that shit and the third review doesn't have any um, votes on it at all which is kinda weird um, but yeah I mean it looks like a neat little game uh, hopefully it gets some more support from um, I guess if they kickstart it or any any other backers maybe there's more people playing than reviewing it 
Um, it is $15, though, which I think is where you're going to run into the problem with it because it is an old-school style, like, retro-looking um, sports game. So I think you might have problems selling it for to, for 15 bucks to people. Um, you know, you got games out there that cost 5 bucks that are pretty good, especially in the early access program. So um, ho hopefully it, it works out that way. Um, so only two more games only four games, like only four uh, early access games released since the last episode, uh, which is kind of odd. Usually this is the podcast with the most, but for some reason a lot of stuff came out last Friday. Um, so this game is called Gunheim. It's got 13 reviews. All of them are positive. It is $10, 10% off, though, until the 17th of August, so it's 9 bucks right now. And Gunheim is a 1-4 to four player top-down shooter. Um, and it's got a really unique art style it's a uh, little cell shaded pixel not pixel but a little cell shaded 3d uh, style uh, cartoony it's more cartoony it kind of looks like a, a you know, like a blizzard game or something it's it's cute um actually kind of watch it reminds me of uh, what is it overwatch is that uh, well that style of art um it looks really nice though it it's a viking themed uh four player shooter uh one the four player um it's got does it have online? Yeah, local co-op and online multiplayer, which is awesome. Um, he's saying it's inspired by the golden era of uh, couch co-op. So it just looks like a top-down twin-stick shooter, though, with four players. It looks really neat, though. Um, you go, go watch the trailer. Uh, link will be in the show notes for the Steam page. But it looks interesting enough. Again, I don't know much about it. And the reviews are saying that... Um, uh, the reviews are positive, and they seem to like it. So, you know, if you got some friends that are looking for a new co-op game, go check it out. All right, this next game is called Castronauts. Uh, it's got three positive reviews. Uh, it's 100%. It's 8 bucks, 15% off until the 19th of August, which is uh, 70. Nah, that's a week from today. When did it come out? It came out today, so that's why. Uh, so for the next week, it's uh, 6.79. Now. This game, I actually just got a key for this game. I hit them up and they got back to me super quick. Um, it's single player and local multiplayer co-op. Now, it's also a twin stick shooter. Uh, this one is a space one though, if you can't tell by the Castronauts part. Um, so it's a twin stick space shooter and it's, you're shooting stuff and it says you're mining asteroids, hunting pirates, attacking civilians, fighting the police. It says do whatever it takes to get rich. Um, it's a twin stick capitalist action. <laughs> That's what it says. So it's a twin stick action shooter. Um, you know, it's got a, a, a pixel art, not pixel art, but like a polygonal 3D style, um, kind of chunky looking. Uh, but it looks, it looks good. It, what we'd have to play it to see, which I will, I'll, I'll be playing it within the next couple days, uh, maybe tomorrow. So since it did just come out, and I try to try to get when I get reviews close to the date that they came out, I try to get them out like quickly. If I get them before, I try to get them out bef like right before the game comes out, and then I get the occasional um, you know game after like weeks after the review, like the game came out, and then they get put into a queue with all the other games that I'm working my way through um, you know priority is date that's really what it comes down to so this will get reviewed within the next couple of days um, but yeah go check that out um, or just wait for the review it'll be up probably uh, either tomorrow or this weekend and it's only 679 so it looks pretty awesome though um, but that's gonna do it for episode 50 guys thank you very much for listening or watching on YouTube um, that's it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, I look forward to doing this for the foreseeable future, and hopefully with uh, the support of the indie developers that um, give me the opportunity to review their games, um, I can continue to do this. The more people that listen, the more I can do this. Um, you know, hopefully one day I can, you know, make a little bit of money and be able to afford um, you know more time be able to afford to take more time to to do more reviews you know um, 
maybe stream more. I would love to have more time off to stream more, do more Let's Plays. Um, the reason I chose the format that I did in, in the form of uh, short first looks and written reviews because it allows me to work my day job, but it, it, it's a time f uh, frame that uh, works really well for, for, for me. And I, I think it gives a good look at indie games in general where you wouldn't want to just like you know, I'm not always going to play through an entire early access product, uh, especially because a lot of times you buy them and you just sit there and look at them and you, um, you know, you wait for them to develop over time. So I thought the 30 minute format was great. Um, you know, and the podcast, the two podcasts a week I, is working out for me. I don't know if it's working out for anybody else, but. Um, keep an eye out on the website though. Go to earlyaccessmedia.com. I'm going to be putting up a poll within the next uh, couple days, and I'm just trying to find out a little bit of feedback. Um, you know, would you like to see more Let's Play videos? Um, you know, if there's a game that you like, would you like to see me play it? You know, through to completion, like do our let Let's Plays and load those up on the YouTube. Um, you know what? what kind of games in particular do you guys like and dislike um, you know you can always use the contact form on the website or just go make an account there is a forums that I set up a little forum that I set up um, so you can use that too hopefully at some point we get a whole bunch of people over there talking all about indie games and indie everything um, but that's gonna do it for this episode guys thanks again for listening to episode 50 and I will see you guys on I always forget Monday. I will see you Monday for the next episode. Have a good weekend and good night.